Hi guys, thanks for coming back to our Over Busy You Can Too kitchen. Today I'm going to be making lasagna but I'm going to be doing it two ways. There is very little difference between the Slimming World version and the um, full fat if you like version. I'm going to be doing both. I've actually had a mess around with the sauce on the Slimming World version because it was made with pork and eggs before and it went sort of omelette and it wasn't very nice. The first one I'm going to make is the full fat no holds barred version. I've got a pint which is about half a litre of full fat milk here. I'm just going to put that straight into my pan. I'm going to put about a dessert spoon, a slightly rounded dessert spoon of corn flour in that. And I'm just going to whisk that in. The reason you whisk it in is because you don't want any lumps in there. Um, and I'm going to keep an eye on that because as it starts to boil, it will get lumps if I don't keep stirring it. So I'm just whisking that in. So all I've got in there is milk and corn flour at the moment. To that, I'm going to add some salt. and some nutmeg. You've seen me use whole nutmeg before, it's much nicer than the ready ground stuff. It stays fresher, lasts longer, and I'm grating in about a quarter of a nutmeg in that. And I'm also gonna add about a tablespoon of butter to that, just to enrich the sauce a little bit. Got my flame on low there, because I don't want it sort of bubbling and boiling quickly and going all lumpy and horrible on me. I'm just whisking all those bits in. And whilst that's coming up, I'm going to do the cinnamon roll version. Right, in this jug, I've got 200 mils, which is about eight fluid ounces of skimmed milk. <coughs> to that, I'm going to add a tub of quark. Pork is just a very low fat cheese. It's free on Slimming World, sin free on Slimming World. But it's used up an awful lot. I use it an awful lot. You like uh, the acidity of cheese without the calories of the cheese. And I'm just going to whisk that in. As I say, this is an experiment today, so it could go horribly wrong. So I've mixed that cheese in, and I'm just going to top it up to the point mark with water. Right. Yes, I want the acidity, but I don't want it to be too acid. So what I'm going to do, to save me having to count the sins of like a quarter of a teaspoon or a quarter of a spoon of um, artificial sweetener, I've got done it already. I've got a sweetener tablet, tablet between two teaspoons and just squash them together and you've got sweetener. And I'm just going to drop that in. So that's going to just take that harshness off. Pull that into my pan, put that over a low heat and I'm going to add, you know, I'm actually looking for about a tablespoon which is one sin of corn flour. Sim values and everything will be in the description for you. And I'm just going to whisk that in. Same as with the other sauce. I don't want it going lumpy. I don't want it going thick and craggy and horrible. Get that one stirred because that's getting a bit warm now. And again, salt. Pepper and nutmeg. Again, about a quarter of a nutmeg, so it... Right, as you can see with the full fat sauce, it's thickened up nicely now. I don't want it super thick because it's supposed to be a pouring sauce. I just want it thick enough that it'll coat things. You can see it's coated my whisk there. That's perfect. 
So now I'm going to turn the heat off under that. Take my whisk out. For the full flat version, I've got Gruyere cheese. This pack is 195 grams, so that's what I've put on the description. But it's just basically one pack of Gruyere. It has this label coming down the side, which personally I don't particularly like to eat. So I'm just gonna cut that off. The rest of it will just disperse in the salt. Just gonna grate that block on the coarse side of my grater, including the rind, because as I say, it will disperse into the sauce. But you need to do this while the heat is off, but the milk and everything is still warm or still hot because it's going to melt your cheese but you don't want it to sort of overcook and go yucky. Okay so I've grated all of my Gruyere into my full fat sauce and I'm just stirring it in. Gruyere's a good one for this because it's a lovely melting cheese. It's got a really good strong taste. It's absolutely beautiful. So I'm just stirring that in. As I say my heat is off but my sauce is still hot so it'll melt. It. Now I need to separate two eggs. Crack it on the side. I find the easiest way to do this is just with my hands. Take the top half of the egg off or the shell off, pop it into your fingers and then if you just carefully roll the yolk between your fingers you get all of the white off and you just drop that in there and immediately whisk it in. It'll give you a little bit of thickening, but not much, but it will give you that lovely yellow colour. Right, so my Slimming World one is thickened. It's come up to a little boil, so I'm going to turn the heat off under that. With the Slimming World one, I've got 50 grams of low-fat cheddar in one bowl, 50 grams of low-fat cheddar in the other bowl. I'm going to put one bowl in and one bowl on. So I've got 50 grams, my heat is off, my sauce is still hot, I've got 50 grams of cheddar going into there. I've put all the sim values and everything. I'm working on the assumption that you've already had your healthy extra A, so I've sinned all the milk, all the cheese, everything. So that's my cheese dissolved into there. And I want another two eggs. I only want the yolks in the sauce, so Roll it through your fingers, get all the white off, drop that in and whisk it in immediately. The cheese and the egg yolks has thickened that sauce again slightly for me. So now I have my two root sauces ready. It's literally just a case of constructing the lasagna. So lasagna is traditionally three layers. You have, it's three layers of three layers. You have a layer of meat, your, your bolognese sauce, a layer of pasta, your lasagna sheets, and then a layer of your bechamel or your white sauce, which we've just made. So, but they don't want to be thick, huge layers. So I'm just gonna put exactly the same bolognese recipe in both. And as I say, you want it quite thin and just spread it out over the bottom. If you've got too much in there and you know you're not going to get three layers in, take a little bit out, it's fine. So I've got my layer of mince in the bottom of my lasagna dishes. On top of that, no cook instant pasta. Um, usually I use wholemeal pasta, but for some reason I can't seem to get it anywhere at the moment. So I'm just using ordinary no cook lasagna sheets just lay them over. If you prefer to cook it, you can, but it's entirely up to you. I just snap that one in half because I don't want a full size one on there. You don't want your layers of pasta too thick because then it won't cook very easily. Right, so we've got the layer of mince, the layer of pasta, and I'm just about to put some of the cheese sauce. You don't want huge amounts through the middle. It's just a taster help sort of moisturize everything. Most of the sauce should go on the top. So the square one I'm doing as the full fat one and the rectangular one I'm doing as the slimming one. I'm saying that more to remind me than you but there won't be hopefully a great deal of difference between the two. But do 
do much with the sauce on there, so I'm just going to scoop a little bit off. And then the Slimming World version of the sauce onto the Slimming World pasta or onto the Slimming World lasagna. So we've got a layer of uh, the bolognese, a layer of pasta, a layer of sauce. On top of that, same again. I'm on my third and final layer with my full fat one. Just want to show you, if you lay the pasta sheets like that and just push your fingers down, they should break in two. And then you can snap them, snap bits off to fill little bits and that way you don't end up with huge amounts of pasta that's not going to cook through. Final layer of my bechamel which goes over quite thickly now. As thick as your pan will allow or your lasagna dish will allow. And then on the full fat one as a last hurrah parmesan. And you just grate the parmesan over the top. Um, please don't buy that pre-grated stuff, that's not what I can really call it, because it's not, it, it, I mean it smells vile and it really isn't the same stuff. You can buy the proper parmesan in the budget supermarkets and it really is worth it, it's only a tiny little bit more expensive but it really is worth that extra cost. Okay, so that's going to go in the oven and I'm going to cook that on 180 degrees for about 40 minutes. That will allow all the juices and everything to soak into the pasta, cook the pasta, it'll crisp the top up and it'll be absolutely gorgeous. Just going to grate a little bit more pepper over the top. Hmm. And that's it, ready to go in the oven. This has all the sin values on this has been counted so it's absolutely fine. It works out, I think it's about three and a half sins a portion. Um, but it will all be in the description for you. And because it's Slimming World, I've got my 50 grams of extra light cheddar that I saved, or low, low fat cheddar that I saved. I'm just going to sprinkle that over the top of this one. A little grind of pepper, just for a bit of extra flavour. And that one's ready for the oven too. So two exactly the same. Um, the only difference is the sauce. Okay, so our lasagnas are out of the oven now and this um, new sauce that I've come up with actually seems to work really well. The only difference is it tastes slightly different because obviously in the full fat version I've used full fat Gruyere cheese which has got a stronger taste and in the Slimming World version I've used low fat cheddar. But apart from that, I honestly don't think there's a great deal of difference at all. So, oops. That is a slice of our full fat version. You can see all the lovely layers and it is absolutely gorgeous. But I didn't say that because I'm on Slim World and I didn't try it really. And I'm just about, this isn't going to come out pretty because it's hot. The only way you can get it to come out in a proper slice is if you serve it cold. And this is the Slim World version. And as I say, Apart from the sauce tasting slightly different because of the different cheeses, you really wouldn't know the difference. They, they, they are both absolutely beautiful. I'm really pleased with those. As usual, all the ingredients and everything are in the description. Um, I've also put a link on there for the bolognese sauce, which is the one, it's our bolognese or my bolognese recipe, and it's the one I made the other day. The video is already up for that. Okay guys, so that's about it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching and I hope that it'll get you cooking really soon because you can too. Please, please, please like the video for us, subscribe to our channel, touch the little bell icon to get notifications and please tell your friends about us. Thank you for watching today. We hope you'll join us again very soon in the You Can Too kitchen. 